Hi, this is Blake Bettner with Morning Wound. Uh, I am joined today with Zach Kazan. Hello. We are talking the Fairer Stanhope 2. 2. If you enjoy this content, please be sure to leave a like, share, and subscribe. This is very different from the Stanhope 1 in some ways, but very similar in other ways. Yeah, uh, it's uh, it's it's the rare sequel that uh, I guess, uh, you know, is an improvement upon the, uh, on the original, the original. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's uh, so this is a, a hand wound uh, cushion case watch, um, and they've made some pretty dramatic uh, refinements to the case, uh, specifically in the in the lugs. It now has these, uh, I believe, uh, what Paul likes to call them, are bat ear bat lugs. Bat ear lugs. Uh, if you can imagine what Batman's uh, you know helmet looks like, that's kind of the shape of his these, cowl. Uh, yeah. yeah, his cowl. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Um, so, uh, it, yeah, it has a kind of a traditional cushion case shape, um, a white dial with a black sub-seconds uh, register. The, the white portion of the dial has uh, a really nice uh, texture to it. Um, and it's, I, I think this is more of a subdued, fairer watch than what most people might think of when they think of the brand with the, the loud color combinations and really bold uh, color choices. This is just a, you know, very simple watch black and white, little hints of red and blue uh, throughout the rest of the dial, uh, accenting it uh, yeah. here and there. But um, this is a, a simple, straightforward watch, and it wears really well uh, with the new case shape. That's right. And if you enjoy Fair, the bits of personality, they are there to be found. Yeah. Right? Uh, they kind of beg a closer look. I particularly enjoy the, uh, the minute track at the exterior of the dial. Which, uh, which is done in the red and blue. And it's not something that you really notice until you kind of see it in the right light and then those colors kind of pop off over there. Yep. The thing I like about the Minutes track and also the subsidiary second style is that they're both sunken. So it gives the dial uh, just this little added dimensionality. Uh, it's not dramatically sunken. It's just, yeah. it's very, very slight. Um, but it, you can kind of pick it up when you view the dial at an angle um, and it looks really great. Yeah, and, and the... Our markers and numerals are also applied, and they're, they sit quite tall. So yeah. all taken together, there is quite a bit of layering and depth, but not a jarring amount. It's just, it, there's, there's a, it's just details that you kind of discover uh, with this watch that I think really set it apart. And that's one thing that I think Farrah does really well. Uh, so the case is the biggest departure, I believe, from the first one. Uh, and I believe, in my opinion, this balances out with the dial uh, much more harmoniously than, than the first one did. Yeah, uh, no, I agree. I think that the, um, th this case has like more body than the first one. The first one was, it was a cushion case, but the lugs were like kind of thin and mm -hmm. short. And, uh, with this, the lugs are, are thicker and the case has a broader feel overall. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's still not large though. It's, it's not still... large. It's, it's 38 millimeters. Um, it's, I believe I think, the first one was 37. Yeah. So it's a little bit bigger. Uh, it's about 43 millimeters or so lug to lug. So it wears really well. Um, I have a seven and a half inch wrist and, uh, I found it to be really comfortable for me, uh, to definitely a watch you could wear, uh, you know, day in and day out. Um, it's, uh, it's pretty versatile. Um, mm -hmm. This is a, a really nice watch. Of course, it's a hand-wound movement. Uh, it's got that bridge on the back with some of the fairer detailing, which, which is kind of a nice yep. touch. Zach, how much does this watch cost? Uh, it's $995, okay. um, which I think is a pretty fair price point. Uh, the movement's well-decorated for, mm -hmm. uh, for a watch at that price point. And, uh, it, you know, just sometimes you get a watch in your hand, and it just sort of feels like a high-quality product. Like, this is, like, this feels, like, substantial and well-made and well-finished. Um, yeah. Like I said, it's really, it's very nice. It is. Uh, they've done a great job with this watch. It is available for purchase now. I don't believe it's a limited edition. I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, Zach, you have a lot more to say about this watch uh, in your review, which is now live on Worn and Wound, so be sure to check that out. Uh, any final thoughts on this watch? Uh, no, I think we just about covered it. Read the review. Uh, it's uh, the review. it's a, it's a really right. solid watch. If you have any other questions about this watch, uh, leave them down in the comments below. And uh, until next time, thanks for tuning in. <laughs>